Hi, this is Erika Kassab from Small Robot Studio with a quick tutorial for Nomad Sculpt, a 3D sculpting app for tablet users. Today we are revising matcap shading. Hey, make sure that you are subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you might be missing out on the many tutorials that we release for free each week here on YouTube. We will find matcaps inside the shading menu, the icon shaped as a sun on the top left. On the very top of the menu, select Matcap. Tap on the sphere and Nomad will show us different preloaded ones to choose from. To add more matcaps to your collection, just tap on the plus icon or import and select an image from your library. To delete any of this, just select it and tap on delete. In the description, you will find a link where you can download three matcaps for free. Our Patreon supporters for this month can access a collection of 20 different matcaps. Join us to access the rewards of the month at patreon.com slash smallrobotstudio. Before looking at the rest of the menu, let's really understand what matcaps are. A matcap is a simulation of a surface material and lighting environment. In other words, your model looks shaded when in fact it's shadeless. The software takes the shading information from a sphere image and projects it on the surface of your model. It reads the color that each normal of the sphere has and assigns that value to the normals of your model in relation to the camera. Because of this, when we rotate the camera, it looks as if the lights were moving with us or as if we were rotating the object instead of moving the camera. When I rotate a camera around an object in real life, the areas of shadows remain in the same place. So why do we use matcaps? Overall, they are great when sculpting. They let us visualize our models in different lighting scenarios to better judge our shapes and recognize mistakes. We don't sacrifice software performance because it's not real lights or materials, just projected textures. For this same reason, if you add lights to your scene, they are ignored when you shade with matcaps. The default matcap that looks just white might seem a bit useless at first, but it is great for two things. First, judging the silhouette of your models. Coming from a 2D character design background, I always prioritize having a clear, interesting silhouette before any other aspect of the design. The second use is when painting your models. A white matcap lets me see the paint free of the influence of any environment. Any other matcap will tint our colors with its base color. The painted colors will be multiplied against the matcap, meaning they will look tinted and darker. Even if I try to paint white, the result is the base matcap color. To hide your painting, go to the Display Settings menu and deactivate Enable Scene Painting. Let's look at the rest of the matcap menu. So far, everything is shaded by the same matcap, but we can assign different matcaps to each object on the scene. Just below your sphere in the menu, deactivate Use Global Matcap. Pick a new one and only the selected object will change. The next option, Rotation, is very straightforward. It will rotate the matcap. As a shortcut, drag three fingers on the screen. Don't forget your matcap is only an image, so the rotation is on two axes. Up to January 2021, on version 1.34, matcaps actually have an error in rotation. You can appreciate why this doesn't work. According to the developer, this will be changed. Let's skip to the last option. Opacity. This one controls the transparency of your mesh. So what's with this section? Environment. When we play with the options, nothing happens. This section has to do with PBR shading, meaning physically based render. You can switch to PBR and see the difference. Matcaps ignore this because light and material information come from reference images. Same goes when painting. Inside the painting menu, we get a message that says Roughness and metalness will not be visible with matcap shading. These two are material properties we can paint into models, but they need actual lights to be visible. To see the results, you need PBR shading. Alright, I'll see you soon with a new video. Happy sculpting! That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, 
and more by clicking in the link below.